It's gonna run. It's gonna run. Ah, more to come. Hey guys, Mitch back for a little conversation with you guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed that that uh, beginning of the video. Just actually just having a lot of fun. Uh, let me tell you a story. Uh, my channel started back I think 20 years ago, I don't even know. I did it because <clears throat> I got tired of people taking advantage of us folks that love cars and want to save cars, okay? So, uh, I am a full-time realtor and I needed a hobby. <clears throat> so cars seem to be my hobby. Let me go back to this car right here. This is a 1998 Jaguar XJR supercharged. It is a rare breed. Uh, 1998 is one of the fastest cars produced, not talking about the supercars, but in general, cars in general, not supercars. 370 horsepower, one of the fastest cars built in the late 90s. Got this car <clears throat> five years ago for $1,200. I got it from a friend, not, not a friend, an acquaintance. <clears throat> He's also in real estate. Car was parked for five years also in the front yard. I wish I got video of the day I saw the car, but I don't have it. But I do have videos starting through getting this car road worthy and it's a daily driver. I put over $5,000 into this car to get it uh, showroom quality, which it almost is, but now that the seats are uh, drive rotted they're falling apart but the rest of the car is road is um, showroom quality this car today is probably worth maybe ten thousand dollars that's it ten thousand I bought it for fourteen hundred I put five thousand into it so I'm I'm not looking upside down let's back let's get to this one this is a 1981 turbo trans am it's actually very rare. They made, in 1981, I'm sorry, 19, I'm no, sorry, 1980 Trans Am, Turbo Trans Am. The other one I had, 1981 Trans Am, was stolen from this spot right here six years ago. Here's a photo of it. And if you look on my channel, there are so many videos of that car. It was called Miss Patina because it looked like hell. This is called Miss Patina too, because she also looks like hell. In 1981, I'm sorry, 1980, they built 3,500 of this model. This is the original, original engine, original uh, everything. Everything's original and looks rough, but they made 3,500 of these in one year. <clears throat> and today this car is all right, I bought, purchased this car for $4,200, five, six years ago, about the same time I got this one. Today, it's probably worth mm, another about 10, 10,000, just like Miss Red over here, all right? This is all one, this is called Miss Red, okay? All right, the Tina 2. Now, I've, I've, I actually hadn't put any money into this car. I put new, new tires, I put new rims on it, new wheels. <clears throat> so uh, 4200 I haven't put any money into it the daily driver I drive it more than this okay so this is these two cars now let's get to this one hey American flag this is as you well know 1989 Cadillac Elante this car has been built for from 1987 to 2003 I'm sorry, 1987 to 1993. Excuse me, you get my years wrong. In those years, they only built 22,000 of these cars. 
and I purchased this car for 500 bucks from a from a guy that I know which I care for which is a very very likable guy and he doesn't know why he parked it it's been parked for five years uh, there's videos in the, in the channel about this car when I first got it just like these right here there's so many videos of these cars on my channel go back and look at them back to this um, tomorrow's gonna be a big day we're gonna, my brother's gonna come over here we're gonna see why we think it's not running because of the fuel pump all right I want this car as a daily driver I paid $500 for this thing and people have forgotten about this car there's not much talk about it there's very few pages on Facebook there's very few videos of these cars on YouTube it's a forgotten breed it's a forgotten breed nobody knows much about these cars there's not much video out there I would say probably in all the YouTube videos maybe maybe 300 videos that's it but these other cars Trans Am the Jaguars thousands of videos of those cars this one there's nothing online about it okay so tomorrow is a big day and I think I know why now the car was sat for so long I actually will see the um, the previous owner today and I'm gonna ask him some questions because when you go through a car after you buy it you find a lot of interesting stuff this is what I found right here I found that in a speaker box in the trunk this is a fuel, fuel filter all right brand new exact exactly the mind the kind for this car I'm thinking why would this be in the car why well somebody purchased it because it was not running in other words it was having fuel issues all right this is exactly sorry the parts for this car so I'm thinking all right well that kind of tells the story I found this three days ago going through the boxes over there so the problem could be only that fuel pump this costs 23 dollars so the, the whole reason why this car has been parked for five years could be this problem right here that's it so tomorrow we're gonna pull brother's gonna come over here we're gonna pull the gas tank and put that in with the pretty lights yes so let me go under the car swing back around here let's go this way mm. i'm sure you've never seen a car like this at night time this car car is very very solid there's no rust anywhere on the chassis of this car nowhere and there is the gas tank right there we'll be pulling that and and the part you saw up, up front <coughs> up top was that right right there that's the fuel filter that is what the part is upstairs up, upstairs on top of the car because they I guess they thought that was the reason the car was not running it could be the reason but actually it's not the reason the fuel pump is not priming up as you saw in the other videos we have already looked at all the fuses all the relays and this should be the problem so tomorrow we should have a running car I'm so excited I want to have this car as a daily driver uh, I don't want to sell it oh let me get back the car this car is worth if it's running tomorrow this is the kicker I bought for $500 and this car Running condition is only worth, get this, $3,500. That's it. That's all this car is worth. That's shocking to me. It's a rare car, 22,000. They built in, since 87 to 93. 
Only 22,000 of these cars exist, and it's only worth $3,500. Can somebody explain it to me? Because I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. It's a beautiful car. I have always loved these cars. I've always loved these cars. I thought they were so stylish. And it's just, it's just, we'll see. We will see. So thank you for letting me ramble a little, little while. I kind of want to explain what's going on. I will be back tomorrow, hopefully with a good video of this car running and driving. It's going to be a fun day. And by the way, it's 630 in the morning and it's still, it's already 85 degrees outside. And I'm sweating like a whore in church. Okay, more to come later on. Thank you guys for sticking with me through my projects, my rants and everything else. I appreciate you all. Let me make this thing look better. Well, it does close. All right, Miss Grooms, signing off.